Okay, so I need to do a couple of things. Number one, I need to do a hair update because I know I haven't done one in a long time. The second thing that I need to do is uh, answer questions that I get asked all the time. Anyway, about my hair. This is all about my hair. This whole video. I'm going to be completely honest and just let you all know that if I seem different in this video, it's because I am. Um, I'm on pain meds right now because my mouth hurts. My wisdom teeth are growing in and I want to rip them out of my skull with pliers right now. I actually had a dream that my teeth were falling out last night. Anyway, healthy hair. Um, I'm going to start off with the questions because they're sitting here right in front of me. And if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and freestyle the answer and see what happens. Really fast for anyone that's new or semi-new to my channel, the reason why I talk about hair a lot and the reason why I do update videos is because when I first started my channel, um, it didn't start off, definitely didn't start off what it is now. I didn't anticipate it to be what it is now. It actually just started off with like three or four videos of me kind of talking about my hair, kind of like a hair diary because I had to cut my hair off and I wanted to you know, grow it back to the way it was before I had to chop it off. Um, the reason why I had to cut it is because in high school I thought that I had the best hair in the world and I could do whatever I want and my hair would not get damaged. Well, I was wrong. When I got out of high school, um, I went to the salon because my hair was getting really thin and split ends were like all over the place. And so I had to chop my hair off to like about here. Um, well, the salon lady did it. And of course I wanted to commit suicide, but instead I went home and I got on YouTube and I'm like, huh, what's a good deep conditioner? Well, nobody had my hair. You know, there was like no biracial girls on YouTube. So I started my own channel and it was just me pouting basically. Um, and then, I don't know, people started asking about makeup and how I did this and how I did that. I don't know, I kind of got more into it than I thought I was going to and here I am two years later. Yeah. So, uh, let me start off with some of the differences from when I first started compared to what I do now. Bleaching all of your hair very very bad that is the number one reason why I had to cut my hair I don't recommend it highlights not as bad obviously because it's not all of your hair um, bleaching all of your hair you have to keep redoing it over and over again bleach on top of you know just shampooing it. it's just it's horrible the first thing that I did was I went back to my natural color now this is not my natural color of course um, this is my natural color I just have a few highlights up top and they are just honey colored um, and they are woven into my natural hair color, but I only do the top half because I want to leave my bottom half as healthy as possible because this is pretty much where the length is, and this part's already layered, so I, and I can just keep cutting that and layering it, and it's okay. Um, if you have split ends, it's okay. I still have split ends. I know people, um, my best friend actually, Michelle, she has like the best hair I've ever seen in my life, and she still has split ends. Everyone has like here and there, whatever, like you know, you'll live. If you have a lot of split ends, um, I recommend you cutting your hair because if you have a lot of split ends, chances are your ends are like really wispy looking and it's probably not attractive anyways, so you might as well cut them off because in my opinion, short hair looks better than long fried hair. Um, one of the girls asked me if I feel like the outcome of this whole process would have been different if I didn't cut my hair. Um, yes, I think it wouldn't have worked if I didn't cut my hair. Now, some people gradually cut their hair. You know, they, every you know month they cut another inch off. That's stupid. Just cut it off, okay? Stop playing games. Um, how often do I trim my hair? I go to the salon to get it trimmed, and I would say I probably go about twice a year. Um, heat. I know that some of you girls think that I use more heat on my hair than I actually do, and that's because I'm damn good at what I do. Actually, a lot of my styles are semi-heat free and or low heat. For you ask, I am um, putting together a couple of my semi-heatless um, uh, styling videos so that I can um, hopefully help some of you girls. Heavy styling, I mean like actually using heat on my hair and like, you know, hairspray and like just the works. Um, I would say probably like two to three times a month I do, maybe. I always use heat protector. I use heat protector conditioner and then I follow up with a heat protector leave-in conditioner. Um, and I use, actually, I use this, right now I've been using this Tresemme um, Thermal Creations oil. You cannot put oil in your hair and then use a um, hot tool against it afterwards. You will deep fry your hair. It is really extremely bad for your hair to do that. Please don't do that. If you're going to use oil in your hair, then just make sure that you're not going to use any hot tools um, against it afterwards until your next wash. 
the famous question, um, how do I get my hair to be thicker, fuller, and bigger? Um, it depends on who you are. If your hair is falling out, like shedding at an unhealthy rate, you might want to reevaluate um, your, um, your, your diet um, and your overall health because that is, I mean, always will play, you know, a huge role in, in you know, how your hair is, is growing. And maybe see a specialist or get a special shampoo and conditioner. They have lots for hair that, that falls out. If you just have naturally thin hair, um, I would honestly master the art of teasing. Um, I have seen a complete transformation, you know, from thin, stringy hair to this huge, beautiful hair with just a comb and a bottle of hairspray. You know, you can buy all this volumizing shampoo and volumizing spray and stuff like that. Um, but I don't really think it would um, create long-term effects. I think all that is just kind of short-term. If your hair is damaged and that's why your hair is thin and you want it to be full again, like I said before, um, you need to cut it. There's no way around it. I know that people are always trying to find ways around having to cut their hair and all you're doing is wasting your own time. Um, you can't mend split ends. You can't magically make your hair thicker with pills. Um, you have to really do it the hard way and you have to start all over again um, like I had to do. It took me, you know, a year to grow my hair back and um, if I could have gone around it, which I did try to go around it, then I would have, but I couldn't, so don't waste your time. I don't mind frizz. I actually like frizz. I know a lot of people are like, how do I get rid of frizz? But I think frizz is kind of sexy. I'm always trying to make more frizz in my hair. I don't understand sometimes when girls are like, you know, no, my hair is too frizzy to wear curly. I'm like, I love frizzy curly hair, you know? Sometimes like when I wear my hair curly, I'll like brush it just to make it like bigger and more frizzier and I tease it and everything because I love it. I think it looks great like that. I deep condition my hair probably like twice a week. Um, I just have bottles and bottles of stuff in there. So, I mean, I don't, I, I don't keep too too good of track, but, um, you know, sometimes, depending on, on what I'm going to do, if I'm going to blow dry my hair, then I'll use a, um, a heat protectant conditioner, heat protector, protecting conditioner, um, and if I'm going to wear my hair curly, then I will, you know, just use a really good conditioner, like maybe K-Pack, um, or, I don't know, something else. Um, I shampoo my hair every other day, so probably like three times a week. Um, I would like to shampoo it every day only because I wear it curly um, usually during the week and um, and it needs to be clean and wet in order for me to style it. Um, I don't recommend washing every day though because, um, well for two reasons, um, number one I feel like it makes your scalp produce more oil and number two because it's just not recommended to wash your hair every day um, because you're just stripping your hair of all of the um, natural oils that it needs. Um, ingredients to avoid. Honestly, um, I I mean, if you're going to ask me that question, I will just say all of them. I only use Burt's Bees Wax Shampoo. Avoid stress. It makes our hair turn gray and it makes our hair fall out. So if you are um, dealing with one of those two um, uh, issues, then you might, you might want to consider um, rubbing your earlobes and counting to ten. Do I plan on... Um, on uh, continuing to, to make hair videos and stuff. Yes, I do. Okay, I need to do my hair update now. When my hair is, well, it's definitely not brushed or straight right now, but when it's straight, um, I would say about three, two and a half inches um, past my breasts. Um, okay, hi, Devon. Oh, that's very nice of you to come join me. About four months ago, I cut maybe like an inch off of it um, to the ends just because I like my ends to be a little bit fuller. I don't really like my ends to be like thin looking. And I probably won't get cut for another, I don't know, six months or so. I'm actually thinking about going um, a little bit darker. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to though, but I am thinking about it. Anyway, so that's my quick hair update. There's not really much else to report. Um, I'm trying to wrap this video up because I just don't want it to be too long. So if there's any um, specific thing that you want me to create, you know, a separate video for, um, then I, I will do that for you. I'll see you girls very soon. Bye.